Southwest Medical Hospice Care, the sponsors of this segment, provide the right care at the right time and with the right companion. Well, I am Debbie, and I'm originally from Iowa, and I moved to Las Vegas two years ago, actually from Clearwater Beach. I became a hospice volunteer because of the relationship we had with hospice when my parents were both sick. I learned quickly the value, the information that they had. They helped us keep our parents in our home with our, the hospice services. And I knew that when the time was right, I would be donating and volunteering my time. Volunteering has taught me a lot about life. And it's really the small things that we do that can have a really big impact on not only who we're volunteering with, but who we're volunteering for. And I've also learned that you need to live your dash. I have a little necklace on here that says live your dash. And we all have a birth date, we all have a death date, but it's how you live in between. You gotta make those days count. As a hospice volunteer, I have chosen to be in direct contact with the patients, and that has put me in contact with their families. I like building that relationship with them. They look at you as part of their family and in caring for their loved one. And it's been a really big bonus for me to make some friends out of this volunteering experience as well. Her involvement with our family during this hospice journey has meant the world to us. And I just know that um, one of the most challenging things about the journey is the isolation you feel as a caregiver. And Debbie specifically, because I can talk about her as she was our volunteer, I have always said the juxtaposition of, of what she does as a volunteer is not lost on me. Um, you're looking at somebody who is bubbly, who is, I always say Debbie is like sunshine personified. She comes in with this huge smile and this bubbly personality. And no matter what kind of night we had before caring for um, my father-in-law and my mother-in-law, I always knew that we would feel better after she came because she just brings the gift of um, being. And I think that's sometimes difficult as a caregiver because as a caregiver, you're do they have their medicine? Are they clean? Are they fed? You've got all this checklist of things to do. And I think the one thing that the hospice volunteer brings that's very unique is that presence, just to be able to be with that loved one. And that's a precious gift. It's a precious gift for the caregiver to be able to get out, go get your hair cut, go get, take the dog for a walk, whatever it is that you need to do to clear your head. And it's a precious gift for the one who's being cared for, too. I would definitely encourage people to volunteer with Southwest Medical. You might not have the gifts and talents to be a direct companion or contact with a patient, but there's behind the scenes administrative things. Maybe you have a gift of a pet, music, or art therapy. There's um, running errands for patients and the family, you know. So there are lots of ways that, you know, we're a big puzzle. We, we fit together. We want to thank Southwest Medical Hospice Care for sponsoring this segment and to Avenir Memory Care for letting us film this piece in their facilities. For more information, call 702-671-1111 or visit the webpage that you see on your screen.